Hello everyone, this is Alex Flurry for Real World Endo. This video is entitled What Makes Endo Go Bad? And let's talk about that a little bit. You know, when you look at a case like this, this that came in with acute alveolar abscess, there's obviously apical periodontitis going on here. This is a previously treated tooth where you have uh, uh, less than ideal length here in the distal root. You have tissue left behind, and this is causing problem here. So if I could list, uh, if I could remember a, a, a list of things that can make endo fail, you can mention missed canals, you can mention the length not being ideal, too short like in this particular case, or too long. You can mention a cracked tooth, you can mention perforation, and so on and so forth. So there are different things that can make, different instances that can make endo fail. Uh, here in this particular case, you have a perforation. I can give you several examples of that. Now, when you look into the literature and analyze that question, what can make endo go bad, you're not going to find a lot of explanation. It's just actually very simple. This is the best uh, study to ask that question. The, it's actually a series of studies. The Toronto study is uh, phases one through four, published between 2004 and 2008. We're actually examining what can make endo go bad. And if you go deep into these studies, you find nothing but infection. Now, you look at this example here, similar to the one I just showed you. It's too short here. What's the problem of being too short? Well, being too short, uh, this space here will harbor bacteria. It was originally necrotic to start with, and now a patient's having an acute exacerbation of that. It's infection. Bacteria can survive here away from your immune system, from the patient's immune system. So uh, it's infection. There's nothing else. This is a bit skinny here. And that also is uh, an indication that canal is probably not clean to start with. So 